Hello everyone, I'm Gordon Rye from Exalted Canada, coming to you from Ajax, Ontario, and today's paint defect topic is pinholes in polyester body filler. Have you ever done a repair on a body panel? Let's say you fixed a small dent, and after mixing, applying, and sanding the polyester body filler, you notice tiny little holes in the polyester filler repair area. Well, these are pinholes or micro pinholes, depending on the size and the amount of them in a given area. Let's talk about what can cause this problem. Some key factors to keep in mind are defective or age expired hardeners. If it's grainy, seedy or liquefied, don't use it. Whipping the filler and being aggressive when mixing the two components together can trap air within the product. Applying the filler in thick layers using a spreader or applicator at the wrong angle can also introduce air and cause pores in the surface. It's very important to follow the mixing ratio correctly and add only the required amount of peroxide hardener. If excessive hardener is added to the mix, additional heat may be generated during the reaction process, which may cause air entrapment to occur within the filler, which could then lead it to show as pinholes in the surface. Inappropriate or insufficient isolation of the body filler itself with a 2K surfacer or filler will also lead to uh, pinholes appearing in the course of the refinishing operation. How can we prevent this from happening? Only use the recommended hardener for the polyester body filler or glaze that you are using and make sure they are not defective and are still within their shelf life. Fold when mixing, do not whip. And after mixing, spread the material out in a thin layer across the mixing board to help increase the gel time and to also release trapped air. Make sure to use a dedicated mixing board that is clean and try to avoid using materials to mix on like cardboard. Apply the first tight, thin coat, followed by several thin layers, and do not try to put too much on at once. Two thinner applications will produce a better pinhole-free surface compared to trying to do everything in one operation. Apply the body filler uniformly and ensure that you smooth out the surface as not to leave any heavy trail marks. Use the spreader or applicator at the correct angle to avoid introducing more air into the surface. Finally, ensure that the panel work is done correctly to bring the damage as close as possible to the original shape to then minimize the amount of filler needed in the final repair. It is also recommended to use guide coat on each sanding step so that the presence of pinholes can be clearly seen allowing you to deal with them immediately. Finally, let's talk about how we can fix pinholes. One easy way is to mix and apply a fine polyester body filler or glaze over the polyester repair to help fill in any pinholes then sand smooth after the glaze is dry. A second method is to mix a small amount of glaze and using a metal spreader at a high angle, apply a very thin coat over the repair area, then clean the spreader, and then try and scrape the remaining glaze from the panel again using a high angle on the spreader. Then, after the glaze is dry, take a piece of abrasive paper, preferably P180 grit or finer, and using a sanding block, lightly scuff off the remaining material. In either case, you must ensure that all dust is removed from the pinholes by blowing the surface with compressed air prior to applying a glaze or a fine body filler. If the pinholes do not become visible until the undercoat system has been applied, a different method is required. After drying, sand the surface lightly, remove all traces of dust, seal the pinholes with a glaze or fine body filler, sand, 
reapply the undercoat system. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope to see you again on our next paint defects video.